Another highlight out of my kitchen. Most of you know it only from the fridge. Today I make it fresh. And real Bavarian massive schnitzel with potato salad. You can come again in my kitchen and I show you how I cook and how it tastes, how it smells. I'm sure you can smell it through the screen. So welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft. Everything we need for the receipt is here. Um, I have potatoes, um, cucumber, onion, paprika, citrus, and this here is for the meat. The important one is missing. So this here is my piece of meat, it is from a pig, Bavarian pig. Uh, it is the upper shell because this is the piece of the body which is the best for schnitzel. I remove the fat and um, I remove also the upper part here because normally there would be another part of meat on top, of meat on top but um, when you don't cut it away it would always um, yeah, hang away from, from the meat and I don't like it because it should be also something for the eye. And now we had to cut it in pieces. I want to have very thin um, schnitzel because they taste better and for this I make the butterfly cut. This is going like this, you make one cut but not till the ground, you stop here and then you make the next cut and this one is going to the ground. So you have a bigger piece of meat than before and it is very thin. I've cut the meat now, that's how it looks later. So the last end is not so nice, but this isn't um, bad because my youngest son needs a smaller one. Now it is going brutal. I had to destroy the meat that it is getting thinner and softer. A secret tip from me. It is going much easier if you think about the person that you don't like. Now we've got some spices because we are making the meat now breaded. The spices are salt, pepper, paprika, uh, onion and some other spices. The clue is not putting the spices at this moment at the meat. I've got them into the eggs because in combination with the eggs it would be at the meat. Before I finished the meat I had to put the potatoes into the boiling water because otherwise the potato salad will be not ready when the meat is ready.
Normally you should look that the potatoes have all the same size that they be ready at one moment and not at, not at different times but now I have complete different potatoes so I had to check when the smallest one are ready. Cook always with this head because this saves time and energy. At first we put the schnitzel into the flavor, then in the spiced egg and later in these small pieces of bread. When you do this several times, your fingers would look like Grinch. Hmm, this Ei könnte knapp werden. So, das letzte, the last one. At next I had to clean my working area here because I don't like to have a dirty kitchen. And it is also important for the hygiene that you clean uh, your working area and also clean your fingers when you work with rare meat and uh, rare eggs. I have an old kitchen but I always check that I have a clean kitchen. For, by an old kitchen it is more important that everything is clean because old kitchens look like they are dirtier than new kitchens. It is so, I can't change it. Wah! Breaded monster fingers! Cleaning process is ready, now we are making the next step. I cut the biggest potatoes in a half because then they are ready when the small ones are also ready. You could use in the pan the um, fat of the meat or the vegetable fat. I prefer vegetable fat. I open now this door because inside of this area there are 180 degrees and this is much too hot for my schnitzel. I want to hold them warm inside and with this temperature they would be leader in a short time and I don't want to eat leader, I want to eat schnitzel. To find out if the potato is ready, I pick inside and when it is very soft they are ready, when they are hard they are not ready. Um, you had to look from time to time, but not too often, because when you pick too often in your potato, it will fall away. But it will also fall away if they are too long in the water. Oh, the hums. Fertig. Ready. The 
this here is for the potato salad. It is oil and uh, vinegar, salt, pepper, a little bit of sugar and fried right um, spices. I start to cut the vegetables but the potatoes are still too hot. I use fresh cucumbers, but you can also use the sour one out of the glass and use them and also a little bit of the liquid which is inside because this tastes also very good. I put the upper part at the side because this came later on the top for decoration and the under part came inside of the salad and is mixed later. The paprika has this small white seeds and you should remove them because when you breathe them in accidentally you can't get them out, so this could be very dangerous. This goes very easy if you make your finger like this, put the paprika on top and then they fall out normally. And the last one you can put out with the fingers. Ica is always where I am too and last week I've got this floor and the combination floor and hot oven is the best for Ica, she loves it. Viele Hände, rasches Ende. Du schälst jetzt weiter und ich tue es in, den, in die Schüssel schneiden, okay? A little bit more time. You should turn it when the skin is golden brown and a good schnitzel is only turning around once. Mm. 
the two first are here in the warm holding area and now I make the next one. Na, das machen wir später auf. Ich brauche das dann noch. Stell es wieder hin, bitte. The kids are asking me if they could have on top of the schnitzel and potato salad a few pommes. I couldn't say no, because all kids love pommes. The one loves spaghetti, the other love pommes. My kids love pommes, so it's okay to have a few of them. not really a fryer fan. I had a typical fat fryer in the beginning of my kitchen times and once when I want to clean it, when I want to remove the fat, um, it switched away because there was fat around of um, the handle and it is falling again the wall and the fat was so deep in the wall that I had to remove a part of the wall and make it new and after this it was so much work uh, I, I bring it away, I don't want to see it anymore. And then now a few years year, later I have this um, hot air fryer because it needs only a little bit of fat and you can also make pizza inside uh, or cake, which is very great. When you bread it right, the patina is on the um, meat and not at the ground of the pan. So I use this Pretorax pans because um, nothing is burning on very fast in them and nothing is holding here at the pan. In the past I had the typical Tefal pans, um, but I now use only them and I really love them. So at first they don't work so great because they need the patina. Patina are these black spots inside of the pans and you need them that the um, area here is closed and when they have the patina they work great. The last two schnitzel are in the pan, we can start soon. Das ist das Gute von der Eika, stimmt's? Die Pommes sind auch also ready. Oh, hot. I am hungry now and I give you something from it through the screen. I hope you liked the video. If it is so, feel free to leave a comment or thumbs up. We see us in the next one. Have a great time. Bye.